is Sound System 101 for the main sound system at St. Thomas. Um, I'm going to walk through the different roles of the things in the sacristy to start. Um, we have a few different things in here. We have um, two different equalizers. What an equalizer does is it actually um, takes out the bad frequencies of sound, um, which makes uh, a higher quality sound come out of the sound system. Um, so we have one for the left speaker, one for the right speaker, and then we have one for the monitor, which is the black one underneath. So let me show you how these things are connected. Um, see back here, we have right speaker, left speaker, and this is actually coming from um, the soundboard. I wanted to give a, I want to give a little bit of background as to where the sound travels and when. So here we are behind the um, equalizers. And so what, what we've got here is we have um, actually labeled um, the input and the output for the equalizer. So the input is coming in um, from the mixer. Um, the sound is being equalized and then it's going out to the amplifier which powers it and so I've got things um, labeled yellow is the monitor red is the right speaker and green is the left speaker um, the white cord which there's only there are only uh, two of is Newman Hall um, so that's just something um, to know um, I've got things pretty well labeled so if something gets disconnected you'll know where it goes so what happens is we've got the, the sound being cleaned out in the equalizer. Then we need to power our speakers so we can actually project that sound. And so this is where the amplifiers come in. So the sound, equalized sound, goes into the amplifiers and then comes out, um, let's see. This is the, here are the inputs for the right and left speakers. So this is coming in from the equalizers. Okay, so this is the cleaned out sound going into the amplifiers. Um, and then it is coming out here. Um, and so these are the left and right speaker outputs. Um, you'll notice a few different kinds of, um, of speaker cords. Um, this is a twist and lock and so it does exactly what it says, twists and lock. And so this is a more modern um, speaker connection. And the reason these are being used is they can't pull out. Sound is routed from our mixer with either an instrument cable or a microphone cable. And so this for Newman Hall, it's actually brought in with an instrument cable from the mixer directly to the amplifier. Um, and otherwise we have microphone cords that are carrying the sound from the mixer to the equalizer, from the equalizer to the amplifier, and then we turn to speaker wires to bring the sound back out to the sanctuary. When getting ready for mass, the first thing that you need to do is to turn on our two equalizers. You flip the switch on the right for the silver equalizer, and then you flip the switch on the left for the black monitor, and then you'll be turning on the amplifiers, which are right below that. The switches are on the left, number one and number two. Our mixer in the sanctuary does not send power, and so this is why we have to route things through an amplifier. So sitting between our two amplifiers um, are the two receivers for the Deacon and the Priest wireless microphones. Um, these are actually not connected to the amplifiers. Um, they don't need to be powered that way. They're actually just plugged into power strips. Um, and then the microphone cables are routed into the mixer. So that's how that works. When it comes to controlling volume, I wouldn't touch the amplifier volume knobs for either the left master or the right master or the left main or the right main, either on the equalizer or on the amplifier. However, the monitor in Newman Hall can be adjusted. Um, they are at good levels currently, that may change. Um, it's a good idea to, from time to time, go into Newman Hall to see what sort of sound people are hearing. Um, and the monitor is something that you can just self-regulate. Um, so that is one way to 
um, mask or to uh, alter the overall volume of the monitor and the overall volume of Newman Hall. Otherwise, these volumes are controlled by individual channels add on a mixer, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, and so that will be through auxiliary two or mon two on the mixer for each individual channel. So this is where the master volume is, the overall main master volume for both the monitor and Newman Hall. And then mon one or auxiliary one and mon two or auxiliary two are the um, individual volumes. Mon one, auxiliary one is the monitor. Mon 2 or auxiliary 2 is Newman Hall, and that's for each individual channel on the mixer. Um, so that's how that works. Sound can actually be adjusted with um, the equalizer. Um, the overall sound comes through the left speaker and the right speaker and the monitor. Um, on this side, um, you'll see where it says level, and so that can actually be turned a little bit. Now this is a very tricky thing and I recommend not touching it. Um, it took a long time to get the buzz removed from the speakers and that involves me um, figuring out the right balance between those levels and the ones um, down here. This is another way that we can control the master volume. Um, so you can see that these are at about eight and that is a happy sound out in the sanctuary. Um, so down here, the monitor master volume is controlled. Um, about 20 is a good volume. Newman Hall, actually I'm gonna crank it up just a hair. Um, Newman Hall's master volume um, is controlled right here. Um, it is a very sensitive um, volume control, so just um, something to consider. Um, once you've turned on the power in the sanctuary on two equalizers and the two amplifiers, then you come up to our mixer, which is in the sanctuary, um, and you flip two switches in the back. One, two. So this, that zero one actually is a good sign. We've got our power coming through, and I think you probably heard that little pop through the speakers. Um, it is a good idea before turning the power on that we actually plug in instruments, um, microphones, um, whatever it is that needs to be plugged in so that there's um, less of a sound um, issue popping and whatnot because um, those are just not very attractive to the ear. Um, one thing I will note is that the wonderful piano light that we have actually does interfere a little bit with the mixer. You hear that sound, the static? So just to let you know, I don't think it's that big a deal. Now I'm going to explain the ins and outs of um, the volume and managing the overall sound that is coming um, through the speakers. So we've got a few different ways of adjusting things. Um, I'm gonna work with this uh, voice, voice piano channel, which is channel number four, um, to kind of go through some things. Um, so I'm gonna actually turn, this is actually called a channel slider, which controls the volume of an individual channel. And then we have our mains. Um, this is left and right, so they both have to be pushed up um, equally. Um, and so the first thing that we're gonna work on is main volume. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these things down. Okay, so we're gonna be dealing um, just with one of the voice channels. And so this is um, the piano voice, which is channel four. Um, if we are control, if we're thinking about what sound is coming through the main speakers, we need to control the actual amount of sound that is coming out of this particular channel by adjusting this channel slider. So that controls the volume that's coming out of this particular channel. But we also have to control the main mix. Um, if I only adjust the individual channel. I'm actually talking in this microphone right now and nothing is nothing is coming through. Test, test, test. So I actually have to do both things. So if I have um, this particular channel, so I move the slider down, but then I move up the main mix, test, 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 nothing's coming through there either. So I actually have to have both the um, channel slider and the main mix sliders pushed um, to their, you know, actually on um, to have sound come through. So let's check this out, test, 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 test. Um, and so you can see how 
um, how to manage the sound for that particular channel. It's a good idea to do a sound check in the back um, near the um, holy water font. That's a good central area to do a sound check. Um, so that's for the main mix. So let me adjust this. I'm actually going to turn the volume down on the mains. Um, and we're going to go to the individual channel. And so I'm going to go to the, um, this is the auxiliary channels. So this one on the top, um, MON actually controls the monitor. Um, and the second auxiliary channel actually controls the volume coming out of that channel that goes into Newman Hall. So um, let me turn this one up. And remember, the volume control for the monitors is actually in the sacristy. So I'm not going to have anything on this soundboard to adjust. Um, I know that that's a little different from our outdoor sound system, so just FYI. Okay, so I adjusted this. Test, test, test. Let's see. Okay, now that the volume is on, test, test, test. This is only coming through our monitor. See right there? So that is how we adjust the sound through the monitor. Um, so as you can see, piano stayed where it is. We have voice number one, two, three, four. Now, um, one thing to note is that the green and the blue channels, voice three and four, um, alternate between choir mics and um, just standalone dynamic microphones. Um, there are some important things that we have to do, um, you know, migrating between the two. When we have regular dynamic microphones attached, it's nice to have some of the sound coming through the monitor, which is the Mon 1, um, and so it's a nice thing to adjust that. The other thing is we can actually turn up the gain when we have um, the sound coming through a dynamic microphone. When we have the choir microphones attached, which is what's attached right now, we actually need to make sure the gain is not too high. Um, so looking at these, um, putting things at, you know, just after nine o'clock, um, the way that it's pointed, um, tends to work pretty well. But um, gain partners really highly with volume. Um, so you need to make sure that that's adjusted as well. Um, a key thing that also needs to happen is um, that the monitors need to be turned completely down for those channels when they are connected um, to choir microphones. Um, the priest microphones have the same sort of scenario. Um, so that is an important feature um, and should definitely be adjusted before mass. In the past, sometimes we have struggled, particularly with international mass, to find enough microphone inputs um, for the many, many uh, vocalists that we have. Um, so we've done two things in this sort of scenario. If, um, if the deacon is not using his microphone, we will actually borrow his channel and plug a different microphone in there. What's really important is that we um, readjust the settings back to his settings. It might be the best idea if this channel is utilized to plug one of the choral mics into it um, because the settings are just about the same. Um, as you can see from these two channels, the blue and the deacon um, next door to each other. Um, the other thing that is possible is there are some microphone cables that actually have instrument um, cables on the other side, like an, inst an instrument plug on the other side. So those can actually be plugged into one of the instrument channels into the mono, the left side. Um, the only problems with, with, with this idea, with this particular mixer, is that there's no gain option. And so you have a lot less flexibility when it comes to volume for those particular channels. Um, but that is another way that you can actually um, expand your microphone options. Um, it is not necessary to change um, the volume for Newman Hall um, as you are alternating between those microphones. So you can just keep that the same. Um, and as you can see, I have the monitor labeled and Newman Hall labeled for the different um, auxiliary channels um, to avoid some confusion. Okay, so we're looking at the back of our mixer. Um, so you can kind of see where things come from. Um, so what we have here, um, do you remember how we had um, right and left speakers going into the equalizer to clean up the sound? Well, those two um, inputs are coming from here. And so that's right and left, it's the main output, and so that's going into the equalizer, which then goes into the amplifier to get power that goes into the actual speakers. Um, so then we have um, the monitor 
right here in yellow. Um, and so this is the output to the second equalizer that we have, the black Yamaha. And so this is what cleans up the sound in the monitor. And then that sends it out to the monitor speaker. Um, and here we have Newman Hall. This one's a little bit different because it goes directly to the amplifier. And then the amplifier um, sends the power to the speaker so that you can actually have power in the speaker in Newman Hall. Um, so that's kind of um, the gist of what we've got going on back here. An appropriate volume level for the main is zero. Um, so that's kind of our sweet spot.